And let me say one thing. This top five decks of the format will blow your mind. It's your boy in the basement of my new house. But who gives a shit? Top five decks of the format, non bias, no bias, no bias. Pendulums will only be number one and two. That's all, no bias. Pendulums one through five. But I'll, I'll show you guys number six through 10 as well in this video. If you do hit the subscribe button, you might just grow a majestic beard or two. You'll appreciate it. Your friendly neighborhood pen got over here, just reminding you guys. There's actually six good decks in this meta. So I'm gonna do a little bonus top six. Each and every single one of these six can win any single event, but obviously there's only one that actually has a chance every single event that's gonna guaranteed win, not just a chance, guaranteed win. So stay tuned till the very end to figure out. Enjoy the video, check all the links in the description below. Let's go! Bonus alert, bonus alert. We got the sixth best deck over here. The sixth best deck before we get into the real decks. Number six, Mystic Mind, dot, 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 with whatever other garbage you want to throw in there. It's a great, it's a good deck. I, I talked about it before because my version of Pendulum's obliterated. Hello, Dragon Pit. Goodbye, Mystic Mind. Now, I know, I know. It, it, it's a great card, but it's all this deck is. It's one good card in mind. Everything else sucks, which is why it does not crack the top five. But it's definitely the best everything else that doesn't crack top five and definitely worth mentioning. So this is a bonus. Number six. I don't like you. Get out of my face. It still sucks though. Number five on our list is none other than... Salad. Now, just as everyone does with Salad in real life, they move it to the side and eat what's actually good, which is why it's only number five on our list. Screw you, Salad. Get out of my face. You see, Salad Mangrates is just number five. Now, I understand. A lot of you like this deck. I understand. It's a cheap, good deck. I understand that. So I'm going to get a little flack for this. But the issue with Salad Mangrates is that it doesn't do jack shit. That's the issue. It's Salad Man good, not Salad Man great. I don't know why Konami decided to call this deck Salad Man great. In fact, I don't know why Konami did a lot of things. For one, trap me in my house. Uh, I want to escape into a tournament, but I'm not allowed. Konami, what the hell? Unban me already. So they show the world what actually is a good deck. Now, there are, obviously, like I said, some Mangrates are a good deck. And as you guys heard me say earlier, there is a bunch of decks that can compete in this meta. Salamangrate Great being the second worst out of the six that compete. Or the fifth best out of all the other decks. Again, it is a good deck, but that's all it does. It's a decent engine with uh, the 12 hand traps is what really makes a deck. On its own, Salamangrates only gets one interruption. It needs to hard draw the interruptions. And in a meta with Orcus, uh, Pendulum, Thunder Dragon, these decks absolutely obliterate decks going second. Use Strikers as well, where a typical Salamangrate, like what are you gonna do, draw one counter trap and call it a day? You're gonna have to hard draw two hand traps to even live. And even then, two hand traps on a counter trap is not enough to survive. You're still gonna get four negates on your ass after they clear your board. So Salamangrates, a solid number five. It is a great deck still. Oh, sorry, my bad. Let me repeat that. It is a good deck still. Don't throw it out. I'm not saying it sucks. It is a, a very, very interesting meta where you have six decks that are all good. So oh, I had this robe off. Anyways, Salaman Great number five. Number four. I'm just gonna get comfy for this one. Because it's not very comfy playing this deck. Sky Striker. This deck is good, man. This deck is good. It is definitely number four, though. I know a lot of you in the chat might say, hey, Triff, bro. Triff, bro. Triff, listen up. I know you love pendulums, but strikers are better than pendulum. Well, shut up. Listen, strikers are not better than pendulum. One what else is not as good as. You want to know what else strikers better than? Not pendulum. So, with that being said, strikers number four. Now, without Kagari at three. Who cares about this deck? I understand. It put in some work. Jesse, uh, one of the greatest players of all time, uh, found a way to win points playoff with it. Whoa, whoop de doo The deck could play traps. Hey, do you want to know what other deck could play traps? Pure gadgets, like red gadget, yellow gadget, green gadget. That could play traps. You want to know what other deck could play traps? Uh, Yugi's starter deck from 2004. That deck could also play traps. Does it mean that it's a good deck? No. Who gives a shit if Psyker can play traps? Any other deck in the world can play traps. And oh, you have access to Utopia Double? Cool. So does every other rank 4 deck in the world, which is a lot of them. Hey, gadgets. So with that being said, Psykers equals gadgets equals 
Uh, they're a little better than gadgets. Fine, I'll give it. I'll give that to them. Okay, I'll give that to them. But strikers, number four. If you think otherwise, I will strike you. I love dad jokes. Sorry, it was bad, but I, I, I love them. Number three. Little hungry, so gotta get some food to eat. Number three, we're going with Orcus, baby. Orcus is a really powerful deck. Now, if you don't value Orcus as much as you should, you're a moron. And to quote myself, you're an idiot. Now, with that being said, with that being said, I'm not talking about pure Orcus, because pure Orcus is pure doo doo, okay? It's actually doo doo. It, it, here's what pure Orcus does. Uh, Summon one of my one card, uh, one card nightmare mermaids with no, uh, with a few very few extenders in the deck, and then I'm gonna a uh, get ashed, and then I'm gonna pass my turn. Uh -huh, go ahead. That's garbage, bro. What have you lands? What do you get? No material. You just cry. So with that being said, the uh, best deck, uh, the th sorry, the third best deck is Orcus, but only my version of Orcus, my version, whether it be Triff Males, whether it be ABC, but something that could actually do something, uh, a deck that could actually do something after it gets hand trapped or lanceed or whatever it may be so number three orcus so in honor of orcus i'm gonna chug three of these off video because i'm gonna get in trouble from youtube i'm already a little in trouble from them so on to number two we are coming down to the wire now what is the number two deck in the world here it is you're a really good deck bro you're piloted by the second best duelist on the planet but you still get destroyed by the number one duelist in deck in the planet, but you're number two. That is Thunder Dragons. Thunder Dragons are a fantastic deck. They are really good. They can play through hand traps, no problem. They can destroy Psyker, no problem. They can destroy Silence, no problem. They can destroy Orcus, no problem. It is a really, really, really good deck. And even with the banning of Sorceress, still puts in crazy work. With that being said, it's not no pendulum, one man. It's not piloted by the best, you know, myself. But anyways, it is a great deck, and I personally like it a lot. It could do some wild things, which is why I got to give it its respect at number two. It is a remarkable deck. Almost doesn't get better, but oh baby, it does. Number one, none other than the greatest deck to ever uh, live, to be a deck. My deck. Pendulums, baby! Pendulums! Obviously, Pendulum number one. As I said at the beginning of the video, no bias here. It is number one. I made sure not to say number two, number three, number four, number five. I want you guys to know I was being serious with this video. So, uh, with all seriousness, non-jokingness, just non-jestingly. That's a new way to say jokingly, jestingly. This deck is most definitely the number one deck in the game. Now, I'm not talking about garbage Jeremy Mitchell Pendulums. Or I'm not talking about one negate turbo. Uh, I'm not talking about play seven turbo cards in the deck and uh, lose to literally any hand trap in the game, even a uh, Skullmeister. I'm talking about my pendulums, the greatest pendulums, the greatest version of Yu-Gi-Oh cards in existence, which is 30 turbo, 30 turbo card pendulums in a 60 card, absolutely uh, incredible in this deck. Now, you guys already see me showcase videos of the power of this deck. The only time I ever lose is when I draw hands like Mare Mare, Gate Zero, Jackal, Time Gazer, which is the only reason you play 60 not to draw those cards. So that's the 1% chance you lose our hands like that. But then again, if that hand had a Foolish Burial or any of your 30 turbo cards that you play, then you end up still ending up on 7 to Gate. So this deck's amazing first and second. I don't need to explain myself for this one. I know a lot of you guys go, oh, it's just trip. He's saying Pendulums. But no, I'm Pendulums are the best deck. With no bias involved here. It literally it just is the best deck. You just don't play the proper version. So if you don't agree with me that pendulums are the best, play my version. Play my version. See for yourselves. Play against meta. I'm totally confident. If I entered Nats right now before the, the, the turning started, obviously he's already finished now. If I entered with my deck, I would absolutely obliterate everybody in existence uh, easily. I finished first, 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 first. I'd, I wouldn't even be in the playoff uh, in the world's playoffs. Or not to play or whatever, but they throw me in anyways because I'll be the odds-on favorite. So the deck is just remarkable. And honestly, if you haven't tried it yourself, you got to do it. You owe it to yourself as a Yu-Gi-Oh player. You owe it to yourself as a Yu-Gi-Oh player. As a human being, in fact. You owe it to yourself as a human being to play what is the greatest deck uh, that the Yu-Gi-Oh community and world has ever seen. So you owe it to yourself. Treat yourself, bro. Instead of treating yourself to a, th a few 300 Oreo cookies... Treat yourself to playing uh, 30 Turbo Card Pendulums because it is the most fun and greatest deck 
that you will ever see. Trust me, men in robes don't lie. It's just pure fact, science, trip science.